So I know exactly why you're here. You probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a brand new way to generate income online and even start making passive income from the comfort of your own home without any fancy degrees, prior experience, special talents, handouts, or genius level IQs. And whether that's the case or whether you're just interested in learning new ways, that people of any age are working from home in front of their computers to make a ridiculous amount of money, then I got you. So lucky for you, I'm about to explain in this video from start Start to finish everything you need to know. Now, high ticket coaching, if you don't know, is getting paid on the information that you already do know. And the best part is you don't need any money up front to get started. No coding skills, no bullshit college degree, none of that. All you need is just a little bit of hard work, time, and dedication. No, seriously, anyone can actually do this. For me, I graduated high school with straight C's, college straight C's, and partied for four years straight in college to leave school with no job and $40,000 in debt. Safe to say, if I can do this, you can do this. And I've even seen 17 year olds making over $100,000 a month with this strategy and even seen 60 plus year olds pulling in the same type of numbers. The main difference I've seen in my seven years of doing this is the ones who win just don't quit and the losers, well, you get it, they just quit. So look, if you search around on YouTube, you'll find all of these gurus selling this information that I'm about to share with you right now for thousands of dollars and I'm gonna give it to you just 100% for free. You're probably wondering, why should I listen to this guy from some other random guy on the internet making videos with a dope background about financial freedom and generational wealth? Well, I've been in the high ticket coaching space for over seven years now, and I've actually built three seven figure businesses. And now I'm on a mission to destroy all of the coaches that coach coaches that coach coaches by giving away everything 100% for free. This is the real legit shit. And my goal is to provide you with more information that you actually need and be 100% transparent with you without trying to shove a paid course down your throat. And don't worry, I actually give away my $10,000 course 100% for free. Just click the link in the bio and it's yours. And this also reminds me, I'm doing a giveaway. In this giveaway, I'm going to be giving giving away one free consulting call with me one on one. And to enter, all you have to do is like, comment and subscribe. Now, there's a lot of information I'm about to share with you in this video. So make sure you turn off all of your distractions, put your phone on do not disturb, get a pen and paper and get ready. Now, with all that being said, let's jump into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside my screen over here. And in this training, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know to go from zero to 10K a month, and then 10K to 50K a month, and then 50K to 100K a month, and 100K a month and beyond. Now, the real reason a lot of this is going to, as you go through this, cut that part. Now, as we go through this, you'll notice the freelancer act step of all of this, you know, the zero to 10K a month mark. A lot of this, there's going to be more information on as you go down. So it's going to start stacking up and making sense. So I put all this together after I've built three seven figure businesses myself, and then also helping hundreds of others do the same. So I hope you find value in this and stick until the end, because I'm going to be going over literally everything you need. Like I'm not holding anything back. I, I built this as if I were to start a brand new high ticket coaching business from scratch. So you're going to be in the right type of place. So let's just jump right into it. First things first, for, to go from zero to 10K a month, this is more of like the, the freelancer aspect of your business. Like you don't have stuff figured out yet. You're trying to figure it out and you're, you're taking on projects to build cash inside your business. So I'll go through this. Um, essentially, you have one high ticket offer. I see this as a really big mistake a lot of people make is they think they have to have all these offers to make all this money. Essentially, what you want to do here, and it's okay if you're testing different ones, but you want to have one main offer that's scalable that you can take to the next level. You have one ideal avatar, one main lead generation, one main lead magnet that continues to nurture and collect emails. At this point, you want to be given away a lot of information for free, like just teaching and like branding yourself. And an e really easy way is we call it the hundred, the uh, million dollar lead magnet, which if you haven't yet, by the way, uh, my course is completely for free. I talk about a full training on that. The link's down below hundred percent for free. Just get that. So it'll kind of help you speed some things up in here. Next is you need to have a CRM set up. Uh, I recommend go high level. 
I'll leave a link down below if you want to use. We have our own custom Go High Level where you get like the snapshots and the funnels and everything we use. I'll leave a link down below for that as well if you want that. Um, and then you also want to have some sort of low hanging fruit list. So here's some homework for you right now as you're watching this video is go and open up a Google Doc just like this and write down 10 to 20 people that are your low hanging fruit, meaning people that you know, you know, uh, they could be family members, they could be relatives, they could, it doesn't matter who it is, just write down 20 people, and then reach out to those 20 people to get them to work with you. Um, and, you know, for example, if you're in the weight loss industry, write down 20 people that, you know, um, aren't in great shape that you could help lose, help lose some weight, right? Same thing with trading. If you're in the trading space, go write down 20 people that um, have been interested in that in what you're doing or that you want to teach what to do and give them like an amazing deal. Because the whole point behind this is you want to get as many testimonials and client success interviews as possible, because this is what's really going to sell. And we'll talk more about case studies here in a second. But a, an important note that I want you to remember right here is this stage of your business, your offer and ideal avatar might not be 100% dialed in. And that's perfectly fine. The more clients you sign up, the more it'll help develop the offer and move you into having an understanding of who your ideal avatar is. I believe for my business, we we had one offer and one avatar all the way up to, I mean, even to this point to over um, six figures a month. But we did play around with, um, you know, exactly who that ideal avatar was. So it was always coaches and consultants, but before... It was like a very, we were working with more like on the um, beginner side and then we started going more advanced. And then now, you know, where we're at now, because, you know, we're doing multiple six figures a month, we're going a little bit more broad. So it's okay if you don't have that dialed in, but just know the best and fastest way to scale is having one ideal avatar. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is make sure you are surveying your clients to get feedback. You need to make sure that you're always surveying your clients, meaning that you are so like, for example, when, when, when someone joins us, we send out a um, weekly report that they all have to fill out. And then on that weekly report, we get data back from them. And then we send out a monthly report getting more uh, data. And it's really essentially just like asking them questions, what they like, what they don't like, what they think's missing. And like you use that information to really build your program into something where your clients get amazing results. And that's why for us, we literally have clients posting and share your wins probably five times a day just because we do such a good job of making sure that we're on top of it with our clients. Create a one sheet offer of all your deliverables. This is basically, again, just put a Google sheet down, just something like this saying, hey, this is your this is your course. This is how much you're charging. And here are the deliverables, you know, like write out the deliverables of what they get, meaning how long is the program? What's the price of the program? What do they get? Do they get SOPs? Do they get videos? Do they get course curriculum? Do they get one-on-one -on -one calls? Do they get group coaching calls? All that needs to be written down. And if you're not sure about what the deliverables are, go back inside the course and watch some of the uh, free videos on, or watch some of the videos on how to create your offer. That'll help you out a lot there. Next is track finances daily. So actually my bad, I skipped, the, I skipped a couple here. Create a before our call page, page that you send people that books a call that warms them up. Um, we call this the four hour rule. So when you have a before your call page, essentially the way you want to have it structured is after someone books a call, it takes them to a page where there's a video, two, three minute video of you explaining, hey, this is what's going to happen on the call and making sure like they actually show up. And then underneath the video, you want to have testimonials and you also want to have a place for them to go and see like your YouTube content or other free trainings. And this is where a lot of people mess up is they don't have this part in play because this is what's going to build you as the authority. And the videos you want are, you know, like the biggest bottlenecks people have. So for example, this video I'm doing right here, I'm putting this together to show you guys how to go from zero to hundred K plus months. So this would be a perfect video showing and demonstrating my expertise on the before our call page video. And again, if you just use our Go High Level, you'll literally um, link will be down below. You'll have um, you'll have our template for the before call page, so you can just swap it out and put your own stuff in there. 
Content cadence. This is where a lot of people mess up too, is you got to stay consistent. You got to be persistent and consistent. You got to be posting five days a week and posting stories every day. A lot of this, I'm just referring to Instagram, but you can use it on any platform you want, but you just got to stay consistent. Next is track finances daily. I recommend mintintuit.com. It's great for personal and business. I track every single day and I think this has been the biggest thing I can contribute to building uh, wealth inside my life. Now, this is a whole nother video for a whole nother time. So if you're any bit interested, just comment uh, Mint down below or, hey, we want to Mint training, something like that. So I know that that's something you guys want. And if that's the case, we'll, uh, we'll get that training out for you. Uh, the teaching structure, you may still be doing one on one at this point. I recommend moving to a group coaching session after you have five engaged clients. So you sign your first five clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And then after your first five, you hit them up and be like, hey, you know, um, I really wanna over deliver for you guys. So I'm gonna give you guys free group training uh, for three months, whatever it is, right? And that way you have a foundation. So when you sell people into group training, it's not just like one person on the call, right? Like you have three people that have already expressly, that you're already working with that you can keep them accountable and be like, hey, show up to this call. So to reiterate that, you get five people in, five to 10 people in one-on-one, -on -one, and then give them a group training session as a bonus, continue working with them one-on-one, -on -one, but then sell everybody else into a group coaching session and making it a group. Um, you'll find a lot of people will, will really like that because um, if you bring in the right type of people, the atmosphere will be really nice. Next is you wanna create an irresistible guarantee for your offer to get people in the door fast. I, we recommend doing a guarantee of, you know, two things, either we'll work with you until you get X result. That's currently what we do inside our business now. Um, but don't be afraid to do a money back guarantee. Like the first probably like 300 grand that we connect, we collected inside my company AIA, we had a money back guarantee saying if we didn't get you the results, and you did everything that we did. Um, then we would, then we would give you your money back. And I think there was honestly one Two, there's two people out of, I think over a hundred that we, that ended up happening. So it's a two percent um, conversion rate with that, and it was just because they were just very, very hard to deal with. And um, we're not going to get all the details of that, but you know, it does happen when you're in business and you have a lot of people coming through. But the whole point of a guarantee is that you are confident in what you do, and you put a guarantee in place so they actually have to do the work that you tell them to do. Um, so I actually have a really good training on that inside the course as well. Just go um, check out the offer video. That'll probably make more sense. But, you know, guarantees, I really recommend you have to have a guarantee in this space that we're in now, whether it's we'll work with you for free or we'll do X, we'll do this. I've even gone the point of, hey, if we don't get X, we'll refund you your money and give you a thousand dollars just for wasting your time. Like the more irresistible the guarantee is, the easier it's going to be closed deals. So if you're struggling to close deals, Look at your guarantee and your offer. That'll help a lot. Now, at this point, ads are really optional depending on your budget. Um, I'd say be prepared that every dollar you invest into ads in this stage is a dollar you won't be getting back until later. You see a lot of times when people come in, they have zero business experience. and like, I just want to run ads. And it's like, yeah, you want to, but you shouldn't right now. Right. Like most majority, I would say probably 80 percent of our and 90 percent of our clients are use, running ads right now to, scale, to run and scale. But, you know, until you can if you can't sell organically, you should not be running ads. You're just going to waste money. Um, but like when you're ready for ads, that's what we're really good at. And that's what will really blow you up. And that's why we went from zero to one million cash collected in literally less than 10 months because of ads. Um, at this point, I'd say hire no one. This is all you. Your whole thing is you want to be stacking up cash. I'd say stack up 20 to 30 grand. If you want to do this strategically, your real goal right here, and I'll go over this in a second, is stack up 20 grand in the business bank account from just selling this and then use that money to reinvest back into ads in a strategic way. Or use that money, invest back into my company so we can really help you grow this um, in, a, in a predictable way. So there's a lot of options you have there, but um, a book that I recommend, it's called Built to Sell. Google it, go buy it. Um, it's a really easy read and 
You don't have to build your, you don't have to sell your business. In fact, I don't want to sell mine, but it'll give you some good understandings of like how to build it the right way with systems so you can remove yourself. Um, highly recommend you get that book. So pause this video, go get that book, come back. Essentially, your goal here is to stack up cash so you can grow your business. Most people make the mistake of spending all their money right away. Monitor your P&L daily, which will go into the next book I'll recommend in the next section. Um, but, you know, really focus on this part. Just because you're making money doesn't mean you need to be spending money. I get it. My first million dollars I made online, I spent all of it. And then I was like, where the hell is all this money? And then after looking, at it, I'm like, oh, well, I just spent it all. So you just got to be a little bit more strategic. And I think we all go through stages like that. Mindset. Look forward to failing in this stage. You're going to fail a lot. The more you fail, the faster you'll grow. Change your perspective to what can I learn from this? Like when I first started my company, AIA, every time something bad happened, I actually changed my perspective. and I got really excited by it. I was like, hell yeah, man. Like now I get to figure out a way to solve this problem faster because the more problems you solve, the faster you're going to grow, right? Like 10K problems are different than 50K problems. 50K problems are different than 100K month problems, right? It's all like levels to this. It's really like a video game. So I really encourage you to like look forward to failing and learning from your failures because that's all that matters. Now we're going into the brand. So, you know, zero to 10K a month, we call this a freelancer aspect. Now, now you're getting legit. You're, you're getting into the brand side of stuff. And I'd recommend, regardless of where you're at, you should probably be watching all of this. You know, even if you're at 100K, there's probably some things in here that you're missing, which we deal with a lot of people that come in at 100K and they're like not even tracking their KPIs. And we're like, bro, come on. Like that should have been, that should have been the foundational aspect right here. So all of this is in order for a reason, right? Like the if you can track your KPIs from day one, that's what we did. You have exact data on what you need to do to grow. So let's jump into this. You should be fully transitioned into group coaching at this point, 10 to 50 K a month, because it's not scalable. If you continue doing one-on-ones, unless you want to dip into your margin and hire another coach to do more one-on-ones, I'd recommend at this point, kind of how we have our business set up is our clients get their own client success manager where um, they get a message on a daily, every single day inside like a group chat. It's like a one-on-one -on -one message. And that's way more valuable than hopping on one-on-ones because they can get back to them within the same day. Um, and then they also, the client success manager does an onboarding call with them. And they also do hop on one-on-ones with them if they need it. But the whole point is like, you want to add so much support that they don't. And like at this point inside our company, we have seven coaching calls a week. Um, and Three of them are with clients that um, are doing over 50K a month, I believe. Yeah. And we also have one that's doing over 150K a month. So it's like there's so much support inside our program that people don't need to hop on one-on-ones, but it's there if they need it. So let's run through this. Dialing in your KPIs. We kind of talked about that. You need to be tracking every single day. We have a tracker we hook you guys up with. Make sure you're doing that every single day. Ads should be predictable at this point. You know, this is really um, before you, I guess, to clarify this, before you graduate from the brand, you should have ads being predictable, meaning that you put $1 in and you get at least $2 back every time. Um, realistically, I'd like to be seeing like a 4X return, you know, depending on where you're at. The more you scale, that number will go down because, you know, think about it. You spent 10 grand on ads and you got a 4X return and that'd be 40K. That means you'd pocket 30, right? Um, but if you spend 100K, you're not going to get the same X return. You might get like a 2X return, which if you do that, that's fine. You'd make, you know, 200 grand. You'd pocket 100. So you can see how like that math makes sense. But at this point, you also want to be dialing in your ideal avatar and your offer. Uh, we have a worksheet on that. You know, make sure that, again, all this is in the course. So if you want to get learn how to do this, just um, use the course or download it down below. It's completely free. Hire. You want to make sure that you are hiring these positions in this order is what I'd recommend. Um, you know, when you're around 10K, hire a VA for 3 to $5 an hour just for things that are very repetitive. 10K, hire a bookkeeper to manage your books. So when it comes to tax season, which isn't fun, uh, you have 
all that shit figured out so you don't have to do it yourself. 20 to 30K ish, you want to hire a setter, meaning someone that's going to be setting the appointments from you, slowly removing yourself from the sales process. 30K, hire a client success manager. I would, at this point, if you're up to 30K, I'd like to keep you in sales um, because you're going to be the best person to ever sell your stuff. You know, once you hit 30, once you hit like 30, 50K, I, if it was me, I would do it and I'd build my business up to 50K a month, me just running all the sales because you're going to keep all the profit margin. Right. As soon as you bring on a sales rep, your dip, your sales dip because you got to train them. And then you also lose a percentage. Um, you know, be prepared. As I said, be prepared for your numbers to go down when hiring a sales rep. It's OK. It's part of the process. Sometimes you need to do it to get leverage. I would say for this part, be expecting your sales rep to be able to close half as good as you are. So if you close at a 40 percent close rate, I would expect your closer to close at a 20 percent close rate. That's why it's another important thing to know is if you're closing at like 20% right now, you shouldn't be bringing on a closer because they're only going to be closing at 10%. So you need to get better at sales. Next is tweak up your guarantee to be, we'll work with you until you get results. So when you're in that point, you could probably change it to here. I mean, whatever's working, keep it. But you know, this is what we did when we got around like that 50K mark. Map out your client delivery and automate it. I recommend using an app called Lucid Chart. You can actually like build out your fulfillment and everything. Start solidifying your offer to a specific time frame. So, you know, probably right here, it's like, oh, we'll work with you for like four months. We'll work for you for 12 months, whatever it is. Um, make sure you actually start doing that because we're going to focus on LTV as we go farther down here, which is lifetime value. So you see most people sell 12 month or even worse, lifetime packages. And while that's fine, when you first figure your stuff out, you want to solidify your one core program that's between two and six months for a price. Now, obviously, every industry varies, but the point behind this is after this, you can have an upsell for them, continue working with you and have an LTV that continues to grow. That's the more higher level stuff that we talk about more in our like elite programs, but it's something to think about and set the foundation down the right way. A book to read. I recommend you read the book Profit First. This is usually at this point, people are making a lot of money, but they're not keeping their money. And this book's really going to help you understand how to not only just keep the money, but use it wisely. Goal, start removing yourself and getting back more of your time so you can scale more efficiently. Big word there, efficiently. It will seem hard giving up control, but it's the only way to grow into the leadership role that will get you to 100K plus months, I promise you. It's very hard, but it's worth it. Your mindset at this point, continue looking at failures as an opportunity. You will fail a lot, but if you position it right, you won't make the same mistakes again. And that's essentially what business is, growing your business by learning from mistakes and essentially just avoiding them in the future. So now you've graduated from freelancer to brand to business owner and a lot of you guys, what I'd recommend to do is come back and rewatch this video as you as you go through each stage in your business. Right. So at this point, you want to have a payroll system. You want to start putting people on payroll. I recommend paying them as a contractor. Again, talk to your accountant, talk to your bookkeeper. This isn't financial advice. This is what I do. Um, everybody at this point in my business is um, up to a contractor. Now, things will change in the future, but. You know, that's an easy way to do it. I recommend using Gusto. It's a payroll system. Um, scale marketing system. This is where your KPIs will be dialed in and you will increase them as you scale. So your KPIs, let's say your cost per acquisition when you're around this stage is maybe like $1,000 for a 6K deal. Pocket 5K, cool. At this point, as you're scaling, your cost per acquisition will go up. You know, um, that's why like your prices, you need to be selling high ticket. And, you know, I didn't really put this in here, but one point around here is you should probably be charging between five and 10K at this point. Um, all of this, you can be playing around with it. But I mean, realistically, even right here, like five to 10K is like a good price range and beyond. Um, optimize your team values and mission. This is where you're really going to start building culture and becoming a leader, which is something that is not just learned from videos. You have to be around the right type of people. The way I learned to be a leader was by messing up a lot, but also paying a lot of 
good leaders a lot of money to learn from them and model them, right? Just learn how they go. So I'd say at this point, like, you can't be doing any of this by yourself, by the way. Like at this point in your business, you've had to pay for mentors. You have to be around the right type of people and you're going to be constantly investing in yourself, right? Like just this year, I've done 30, 60, I've done 80 grand that I've invested into mentors. Um, you know, it'll probably be closer to six figures by the end of this year. And that's no joke. Like that's actually legit because, you know, leadership is an important skill to learn. And once you learn it, it's a lot of money that can make you. Um, time audit yourself and create new systems to free up more of your time. Monitor your P&L statements every week. Again, read this book if you haven't yet. Profit first. Revisit your agreement and make sure it's legit. Uh, if you need to hire an attorney to redo it and protect it, your company, then go ahead and do it. Um, inside our course, there is a video where you can get access to a really good attorney for a reasonable price to make sure that everything is legit. We've actually tweaked up our agreement probably three, four times now. And it's always just stacking on to make sure it's better and better and better because you want to be protecting yourself and your clients, right? So goal, developing leadership skills inside your company and having your team execute without you. This won't happen overnight, but study leadership. Leadership is what's really going to get you there. Now, mindset, you want to develop a leadership mindset. This will take you on your goal. And as I'm going through this, like, trust me, guys, I understand you're probably like leadership. I'll get there later. Like, I don't really care. It's not that important. I thought the same thing, but it's one of the most important things and one of the hardest things to grasp. But just keep that. I just want you to keep that in the back of your mind. Just think about leadership. And then as you scale from 100K to 300K, you graduate from a business owner to being a legit company. Right. So at this point, you want to focus more on your LTV lifetime value, kind of like what we talked about, create back end high ticket offer. Really, to be honest with you, you only need one offer to be making 100K a month. That's what we did. And we didn't bring out another offer until uh, we were at 100K a month, like three or four months in a row, something like that. Um, so start div diversifying your client acquisition after you max out the first one. So, again, you should have one client acquisition system that's getting you to 100K a month. And then once you max that out, completely max it out, then start diversifying. Uh, next to start hosting in-person events with your clients, start building culture, community, hire one to two more sales reps at this point. Again, depending on where you're at, again, you want to be focused on uh, making sure that everything is efficient as possible. And just be, bringing on more people doesn't always mean things are going to be more efficient. Bringing on more people, more shit breaks. So keep that in mind. Optimize team culture. You probably want to have some like team retreats and stuff like that. We actually have um, a mastermind and team retreat coming up in this 16,000 square foot mansion that we um, rented out. And the way I did, I rented it out for a week. Uh, first three days are with just the team only, you know, building that culture. And then the next three days are with clients only. You want to hire leadership roles, head of sales, head of client success, head of software development, and so on. You will have to rebuild for scale, bring on new team members, let go of anyone holding you back. Remember, as you grow your business, you want A players only. Anyone that's not an A player, get rid of them. This is, again, this is probably one of the harder parts of growing a business is you want to make sure that you have, if you think about basketball, I'm a big basketball guy, you have your starting five, right? Your starting five are all A players. And then your six man, the person off the bench, they need to be an A player too, in order for you to go well. And like you, if in order to win and be really good at basketball, if you have a bench full of A players, like your whole team's A players, you're going to win. So, you know, you might be having some B and C players as you grow through here. Um, and that's perfectly fine because, you know, in order to attract A players, you have to be an A player. So if you're not attracting A players right now, it's probably because you're not an A player. To cut it straight with you. Now, at this point, your business is most beneficial time is spent thinking and having a clear mind, like I'm serious at this point, this is where it gets a lot of fun, is you get paid to have a clear mind and clear vision and making strategic decisions on how to grow this business. Your goal, you should, you personally should not be fulfilling any orders at this point. Your company needs to be systematized so that you can leave for a week and not touch every, anything and it will run 100%. I tested this out not too long ago in Europe, uh, when I went to Europe for one of my friend's birthdays. 
we just snowboard the whole time and stayed in the chalet and I just tested my company and, you know, we ended up having one of our, it wasn't our biggest month, our biggest week, uh, but it was, it was like 10 days I was gone. It's one of the biggest 10 days that we've had in a while. So, you know, you want to test stuff, like reward yourself, test out your system. And then mindset here to wrap this up, leadership, you are now forever in the leadership position where you need to lead your team to new goals and new milestones. So I know we covered a lot in here. And I'll leave a link for this, this, this uh, document down below so you can have it too. But just know like, you know, as you probably can see, it's a lot more dense at the beginning. And then it starts stacking up to here because usually when you get to, I mean, even the 50K part, like you need to be able to talk to someone specifically and have a customized game plan to help you grow. And that's really what my company does really well with is like we meet you where you're at and help you customize how to grow from there because here's the foundational aspects of what you need. But this is what you're going to really need is just like having somebody that you can model off of and understand how they operate and model their leadership skills. And it doesn't happen overnight. But when you put all this work together and you stay consistent with it, you know, um, and you follow directions. And what I recommend is following one person. So if you're watching this video, I recommend just continue watching my videos because I will literally just give you everything you need. Where a lot of people mess up is they try to listen to mentor A, B, C, and D, and then they get all in the mix. And it's like, well, A said this, C said this, B said this. And it's like, yeah, obviously everybody has a different way of growing a business. It's not one clear step-by-step -step way. I tried to outline as much as I possibly can for you here. And I think I genuinely believe that this is the foundational aspect of what you need to go from zero to 10K, 10K to 50K, and then 50K to 100K, and then 100K uh, months and beyond. So I hope you found value in this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.